Okay, okay. So you and Dawn are both working on solo projects. Will Diddy Dirty Money be doing another project, or was it just like, you know, a one-time thing? Diddy Dirty Money was, um, you know, that's just something that's going to be forever. Um, <laughs> I'm going to tell you something funny. We recorded enough records that if we wanted to put out three more CDs, we could. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> we definitely did. We was in that studio hardcore, and all of those songs were amazing. I mean, some of the songs that my heart so said should have been in the album didn't make it. But, um, you know, had ever given it a chance, Puff could definitely put it put together another album. But um, with that being said, Dirty Money was something that um, it was very experimental and, and it was different for somebody like Puff. And, uh, you know, at a stature in his life that he doesn't have to do music to ask two girls that are, you know, trying to become uh, a household name. Like himself to be in a group with him, that that was in itself was like you let. If we never do another album, thank you for you know letting the world see me standing at your side. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so um, you know, Dirty Money is always gonna be a forever thing. And like I said, if we with you and Dawn both working on solo projects, will you be will uh, both be working with each other on y'all solo projects? Like maybe a future song or her CD might be on. She might be on a future song or your CD. Um, who knows? I'm not sure. I haven't really talked to Dawn. Um, and maybe that's just because, you know, like I said, we've been, you know, working and we're hard workers. So, you know, my main focus, like I said, I'm a studio rat. I, work, I just got out of the studio when I say two sessions at once. I did four songs with Wayne Wonder, four songs with Cat Deluna, and with the great Shakespeare, you know what I'm saying? Working with a new artist, Miranda from Tech Jam, you know, so I, I go hard. So, you know, um, I'm not sure. That would be, you know, idea of course because we were in a group together, you know, but I know Puff will be on the album. Um, we definitely have a duet or two with him, and which is amazing, you know what I'm saying? Um, mm-hmm. But that, these are things that we started way before Dirty Bunny, me and Puff, because I was working on my solo, my solo project before. And so, you know, when Puff came in, he was like, yo, I'm definitely dropping the verse on this. And that's kind of how Dirty Money kind of transpired because the sound that I was creating it was the sound that he wanted. And he loved it, and so me and Rodney Jerkins was the one who was kind of creating that sound. And so, you know, um, who knows? Nobody knows what the future holds. I, I hope that, you know, we can meet somewhere in the future. But I know she's on a thing, and I wish her all the best the luck, because it's hard out here, it's rough out here. But I know she's talented enough to bring it, you know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. you know, I don't even think she needs it, you know what I mean? She <laughs> <laughs> don't even need no pizza. <laughs> So you had a huge influence on this um, sound Diddy and Dirty Money came up with. What will fans notice the difference from that album and your solo project? You know what? I don't, I'm, you know, they're going to be able to see that um, I get to say what it, exactly what I feel on this album, how I feel. I've always been a girl that talked about love in, in, in the most strangest forms and fashion. I've always been that type of person because I think love is like, I'm going to talk it all. Mm-hmm. And the crazy thing about love is love can have all the elements of hate, it can have all the elements of anger, it can have all the elements of happiness, it can have all the elements that you can just dream and think about in life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so for me, love is just a, 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 a constant a constant piece in my music. And um, they're gonna be able to, what they're going to be able to see, it's just going to be like, yo, we get it, we just get it. <laughs> dumb, dumb, dumb. We get it. You know what I'm saying? From the, you know, from the uh, love come down to the, you know, ass on the floors to the yeah, yeah, yours to the, I mean, to all of it, to the whole sound, the whole swag, the whole vibe. They're gonna get it, and but they'll be, they're gonna be able to hear me for what it is. They're gonna be able to hear me say what the fuck I feel. When we were singing love is the motherfucker, that was me, cause I'm the one with the raunchy, with the, with the raunchy mouth, as they say. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't cursing out of anger or curse to offend nobody but sometimes you just have to curse sometimes to get what you're saying at all. you get what I'm saying yeah, and it just only good. makes sense to say yo love is a motherfucker holding your head you know what I'm saying <laughs> and it was just like it, it relates to everyone whether you do it or not you know what I'm saying whether you curse whether you smoke whether you drink you still be able to relate to people and what they're going through and so people are going to be able to get it it's going to be a great aha moment and I'm excited for it okay so what would the name of your, have you come up with a name for your solo project, and when can fans expect it to be released? Now, that is the, the gotcha, gotcha. 
I have been walking in circles for nights and days in all in and out trying to figure out what I want my album to be called, to be named. And so I I think that at some point, um, top of the year, I'm gonna start asking the fans to help me with what the name should be, you know what I'm saying? Especially after more songs are gonna be released and more pictures and more you know, more footage of them seeing you know, just behind the scenes, just seeing how the swag is and what the vibe is in the studio. Like I wanna take my fans on a real super duper crazy journey so they can see it and understand it from taking a shower to brushing your teeth to getting I mean like all of the things in between what that is. It's crazy. It's a crazy lifestyle and so what do you name an album when you're so young and so married and so in love and you know just so so with so much to say what do you name an album like that you know what I mean mm-hmm. so it's heavy on me so I think I'm gonna need y'all help with that okay you know we're definitely here to help <laughs> <laughs> we're definitely here to help <laughs> so do you have like I a- can't wait I can't wait either. I'm so excited for this project. It was just like, after hearing you go to work, I was just like, oh, Kalina, yes, I love her. And she's from Philly. Y'all day. All day straight from the crib. 29th of Lehigh, Broad and Diamond. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Family on D Street, Broad and Erie. Come on and stand up. That's what it is. Okay. So do you already have, like, a second single planned? I do. Um... But you know what, like, I, the beautiful thing about my album is um, people are going to be shocked because, you know, when Lauren Hill and Missy Elliott were out, you know what I admired the most about them was the fact that they can do it all. They were writers, they could sing, and they could, they, they knew what melody was, but they could spit. Mm-hmm. And that, that was something that I always did. Like, I would have ciphers and lunches. So it's like... I'm going through the woes and the troubles of trying to figure out, should I release my R&B or should I release the R&B and hip-hop? Should I release, I don't know what to call it. So it's like, it's not even hip-hop R&B. It's more like pop, hip-hop, R&B. It's crazy. It's retarded. <laughs> it's ridiculous because it's so world as well. And so I'm not sure. Um, you know, I feel like just releasing it all and saying, here, y'all take it. Just eat it, you know. Um, and I just, I don't know. And so I'm sitting down with radio um, executive. I would love to maybe at some point, you know, um, get, you know, the blogs together and people like yourself that just interview artists. And just so you guys can hear a fresh ear, you know, maybe um, do like a listening session just for you guys. And, and it doesn't until, um, you know, it's so, um, you know, no cell phones, no Blackberries. It's like old school. We got, you know, you come in with your beeper in your ears and your feelings. It feel good. It's food. It drink. And then y'all kind of help me with that, too, because I really want my fans to be involved in what the next move should be, you know? You know, you have some diehard fans. <laughs> Oh, I love them. They are like my family. I call them K-Sam. You know, shout out to the K-Sam. You know, every day I get on Twitter and, you know, I just, I promise myself that it, no matter how big this project blows, I always want to be connected to my fans because I feel like that's where the relatability comes from. Mm-hmm. If you're connected to what's going on real in the streets, you're always going to be able to talk about real things. And so I never want to be that artist that gets too too high, you know, up on a pedestal where I'm like, oh, no, don't get that on my shoes. And it's like, listen, I'm ready to go into the trenches. You know, I want to make, I want to do Bob Marley numbers. I want to have music that, that keeps playing for 30, 40 years. I'll bring 30, 40 years from now. You know, I want lifetime music. Mm-hmm. You know, I go to work with just a buzz record. I let y'all know, you know, I definitely had the personality and the attitude and all of the rumbo, the, the, the things that, you know, the rambunctiousness that people want to say and the things that people want to do. I'll be that. I'll be that for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry. I got you. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to say it, I will. Got you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Boom. And um, it's, just, it's just like, you know, it just feels good, bro. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I can't tell you. I really love my project. And I love what it, the message is behind it. And I think that people are going to respect it, you know? Mm-hmm. Well done. Okay. So how does your um brand of music add to what's being played on the radio now? You know what? My music got a message and, and my overall message. You know what? First of all, I started off and I said, you know, um, I always had like this very uh, queenly vibe to me, like the people that are around me, you know, and they just, it's just so much respect for them. Mm-hmm. And in return, I get it back. Meaning, you know, whether it's the, you know, the respect for my 
a husband and how I love him. And, like, you know, I always wanted to feel like he's the king, no matter what. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's, he is the head, and the body can't rock without the head, yeah? And so, you know, even trickling down to the people that help me on my day-to-day, from, you know, PR to um, the writers that write up the new speed, to my kids, to, to life, and the message in that is like, yo, like, you can still be you and do what you gotta do, but guess what? Say what you gotta say responsibly. Make sure that you're just not saying things without a, without a target, you know what I'm saying? You just can't be shooting, you know what I'm saying, blindfolded. You're not that good yet, you know what I'm saying? It's, you're not Mission Impossible, you feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, that's what we're all striving to get better, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. To the next level. And so in my music, it's like, you know, I think that people take and they say, well, you know, it's real rocky and this is what she's saying about the red blood. But, you know, you know, what you think it is acting like you are, Kelly, trying to put your key in my dish. Put your sweat on Kanye, maybe you can get some. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, yo, like, you're trying to come at me like, it's all good, it's all peace, but you got to really be on a different level that you've been messed with me. You know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? So, it's a dope message, man. It's just, it's going to feel good and it's going to bring a realness back to music. It's going to be an integrity. And you're going to see the love and, and the power behind that. It's, it's, it's really strong. And it, and it just makes me feel proud to stand upon it and, and just wave it from the top of the world and just go for it, man. I don't have nothing to lose, man. It's like when you're trying to go down in history and you're really, really trying to make a, a dent in this earth and you not just want to be a light that just trickles off. Like, oh, she was here, she came, she came and she went. You know what I mean? Like, you don't leave a dent. You let, you let your voice be heard. And that's what it is. It's massive, bro. It's massive. And it's not just the United States. It's like Japan. It's China. It's UK. It's the Caribbean. It's the island. You know what I'm saying? It's, just, it's crazy. It feels good to know that I'm in all of those places and people feel me. They feel what I'm going through. They feel that there is a connection. We are, for, we are all from one place. And that's what music, my music is going to do for radio and the world. Okay, that's what's up. So before we wrap this up, can you shout out like your Twitter, your Facebook, all your social media? That's right. Make sure you guys follow me at AK Diddy Bob, at K Diddy Bob, at K Diddy Bob. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Make sure you also follow at I Heart Kalina for all of the new updates because I also help, you know, so I do not profit work. So, you know what I mean? My philanthropy work, I'm trying to get my game up a little bit on that, you know, just giving back and helping people. Mm-hmm. Also, you can follow at Kalina Promo. These are, these are diehard family. I call them K-Fam, you know what I'm saying? And they did this for me, and they just support everything I do. You know what I'm saying? At Kalina Promo, follow them. Make sure you get on Facebook, follow Kalina Harper. I'm there, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's really me answering you guys. It's really me talking. I'm engaged. I want to know what you guys think. I want to know what it, what's bothering you guys. I want to know so that it can keep inspiring me to write songs to lift you guys up. Okay. You know also, you- yeah, and make sure you guys go to ahakalina.com. That's my, that's my personal blog. And on top of the year, I'm just going to be a lot of content. I'm just, I'm releasing it all, man. It's a lot. And I hope you guys can all wrap your heads around it. But, you know, I'm letting you guys in because a long way. So I'm excited about that. You know you gotta come back to Philly once the album is out. Do a little album release party. Man, what? <laughs> Are you serious? Me and Meek Mill working on some stuff right now. We only got one song together, so we're okay. working on a couple things. And you know, shout out to Petey Crack, that's my cousin. Shout out to Oskino. I see you out there, baby, still grinding. You know what I mean? So shout out to Philly, period. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, we we definitely doing our thing, and I'm excited. You know what I'm saying? To put a place like where we from, New Jersey, you know, New York. Philly put them on the map and let people know that it's people that, you know, come from the bottom, the roaches and the rat. We can do it and we still still show up to where we come from, you know what I mean? Okay.